guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a little DIY we're gonna do and we're gonna test out some of this Dollar Tree air dry clay. I've not tried this before, but we are gonna give it a shot. There's a little bit of directions on the side that just says add water to soften or join, store unused clay in airtight container, do not store clay once water has been added. Keep finished product away from flame. Do not put in microwave or kiln. This product contains wheat, not food. Adult supervision required. So it also says non-toxic, so there's that. So we have the clay. I also have this clay. I bought this, because so we're gonna try some another brand. This is called Plastine, Plastilina. It doesn't harden. So we're gonna use this in a different technique. But for right now, we have an old, this was the very first cup I ever made in a different pottery class. So we have that. We have our clay. We have some different cutters. I'm not going to use the Christmas ones, but they came with this little rolling pin. And then I have these cutters that I got at Ikea, I'm pretty sure. Um, we need just a little bit of water, like I said, some paint brushes to help soften the edges. These tools for shaping, this is just a pokey tool. I think this is out of, I feel like this was a pottery tool, but I don't know why it wasn't in my kit. Um, another, this is a silicone bendy and then a knife in case we need it, uh, an X-Acto knife. But we'll put these to the side for now. We need coffee always. Now I have a rolling pin, I mean, a, just a little cutting board we're gonna roll on. And then I have a silicone sheet from the Dollar Tree and we're gonna use that to dry the clay on. You wanna use as smooth a surface as possible. I may end up rolling out on this cutting board just so it won't move. And to be fair, I have a new one of these I got for Christmas, so I don't mind. So now, what we're gonna do, oh, and I have these paint sticks. The paint sticks are about a quarter of an inch wide, if I had to guess, let's see here. Yeah, they're about a little less than a quarter of an inch thick, but we're gonna put them down and use them to roll out because this will make sure that our clay is of uniform thickness. So first we're gonna try it on here just to, for cleanliness purposes, but we'll see what happens. You can use any solid surface that you need. And I have a rag um, to clean up. Now here's what I've learned while I'm opening this. I've been watching a lot of videos. You don't use a lot of water. Um, I don't know if this is paper or paper clay or made out of earthen, like organic clay. It's a 24 hour drying time. It doesn't tell me what it's made out of. I have some other clay that's paper clay. All right, so we are gonna get this open. Obviously it's the terracotta color. And we're gonna start with a small amount. So this is gonna be a multi-part video. I'm gonna roll it out tonight and then I'm gonna let it air dry like you do. Um, so some of the things that I have learned watching videos, you don't want a lot of water. So what makes this type of clay crack when you dry it is one, too much water. So we're gonna avoid that. Two, drying too fast. I do have a natural humidifier in my house, so I think we'll be okay there. Um, and three, I think, was rolling it too thin. So we'll, we'll use these. Or uneven thickness is the other thing. So I'm just massaging the clay in my hand, just trying to get it softened up a little bit. Um, this rolling pin may be a bit small, and that's okay, I mean, I have a bigger one. But anything I choose to use on this surface, I will not then use on food. Which is why I went with this child size rolling pin. So all I'm doing 
is rolling it out, right? Because I don't want to, I didn't want to use my good rolling pin on here because then I couldn't use it on food again. So I may go to like the dollar, well, I did look at the Dollar Tree and they didn't have one, but I could go to like Goodwill or something and find a longer. So I think we're gonna cut this size out, right? We're gonna cut out a couple. Not too terribly many of this size. But I think I'm gonna make something fun. So that's enough of that. Now, some of these tools that I have here, I also have like a spatula that goes to my Cricut that I don't use on my Cricut because I don't, I don't typically use it for, pa this is for paper. But you can really just use any tool you want. But look at how clean and smooth that looks. I'm gonna move this over here. And that's the fun thing with air dry clay, you can just add it back together mold it up it's like play-doh really you know you just make sure you get it all back together now over here the one thing i saw a lot of people do is like a little droplet of water on your hand right and then you just to smooth it you can sand this but it's not recommended when it dries so as smooth as you can get your edges before you let it sit to dry, the better off life will be. But you could just do a little, putting a little moisture down on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. So let me move it over here. I'm gonna put this down. And another way to smooth your edges is with a damp paintbrush. I just put it like a little bit in the water um, you just don't want a terrible um, lot of water, right? Because we don't want it to crack. And then, this is a tool I got at Dollar Tree in the craft section, but I think it's also for nails. But we're going to put a hole so I can hang this. And when it's done, we're going to paint it when it's dry. Oop. And this is really the first time I'm doing this along with you. And then we're just going to wet our finger very lightly and smooth the top out, right? Right here. And you just wanna be fussy with it, really, until it's done its thing. And then we'll take the next one and we'll do the same thing. And I will fast forward until I'm done with these shapes.
Okay, so we have four of these that all look pretty good. This one here, just trying to smooth out the top a little bit on these. So when they're done, I'm gonna paint them, right? So we have that shape. And then we can make something different. Same clay. I saw another YouTuber doing this and I don't know what the what their problem with it was cuz she said it didn't work. But hers also looked really wet. So I'm wondering if she didn't like condense it enough. You know what I mean? If she didn't work with it enough to to do this. So what we're going to do now, oh, see how it's not quite together? Like that will become a crack. Oh, speaking of cracking, my knuckle just cracked. So there we go. We got it mushed together. And then we're going to do this. And the good thing here on this small amount and this small surface really is that it, um, you can just work in little pieces. We're gonna make a snowflake, right? Cause that just looks fun. I can tell already that this clay is starting to get dry. Which again is okay. Did I run that under my nail? I did. Okay. And then we're going to come up under here before I take it up and let's see what happens. I just want to get the, the ridge. And it might be be good, like if I'm doing this type of stuff, to do it on a silco a silk a silicone mat because it won't stick that way. But we're gonna do this. Get that nice and tidy and smooth. And then we're gonna just smooth it out. And then we will, and you don't have to put a hole in everything. I want to make these to hang. Okay. We're gonna let this dry overnight. And then tomorrow when I get home from work, we're gonna come up and take a look at it and see if it dried and if it dried without any cracks. Okay, and then we'll paint it. So we'll be back. Okie dokie friends. We tried the air dry clay yesterday and it came out nice. It is definitely hard. It's not heavy at all. I will say like if you have any rough spots, you can just take a nail file. Wellington stepped on this one. So his little paw prints are in there. Um, I would also say like, you really want to wear a uh, mask if you're going to do this, but you can get flat um, sandpaper if you're trying to get everything looking extra smooth, right? You can lay it out like that, but we're not going to do that. 
and the holes stayed. They're not terribly small. This one's a little rough in there, but it definitely is crumbly. That is the one thing I will say. Um, I think if I, let's see, like it snaps pretty easy. This is the Dollar Tree stuff, so keep that in mind. However, I have read and watched some videos of folks who are, um, this is just acrylic paint, who are doing this using air dry clay of a different brand. And they said that if you um, paint it and seal it, it makes it more sturdy. So we're going to just paint these. I'm just gonna paint them white. And yeah, maybe decorate them a little bit. I don't know, I just wanna see if it makes them a little more sturdy. Um, and what the white paint does. One lady was saying that she uses a something called gesso, which you use with artist paint. Like you would use it on canvas and I think it makes the canvas smooth. I don't feel like I need to do gesso on here. I think acrylic paint is fine for little things like this. I also don't know how many coats, you know, we would need. But we're just gonna drop some paint on here. Now, it, they were much smoother before Wellington stepped on them. And then he was sitting on them. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Now, what you do want to do before you paint the other side is let it dry completely on one side. This is silicone, so it won't stick to it. But um, yeah, you just wanna get the white paint on your edges. And that's what that other clay is for that doesn't dry in the air. You can use it and make little mounds and set this stuff on top of it so you can paint the sides. But for right now, I'll just use it like this. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be I would definitely say more than one coat of paint, especially on the flat surfaces, um, would be our friend, you know, would be a good way to go about this. But yeah, I mean, it paints up real nicely. And honestly, for a dollar, for a dollar 25, I suppose, for a package, I have a lot left. I just used a little bit to do this experiment just to see, you know, how this was gonna do. I'm assuming the clay will absorb the moisture in this paint, so we'll have to just be careful. So it's definitely not a fast craft, because you gotta let everything dry in between coats. And then, you know, because if you introduce too much water from the paint, I think you might be able to rehydrate it. And I also bet, if you decided you wanted to save some of this clay before painting it, you could just crumble it back up and soak it in water, I would assume. But, I don't know. So I'm just gonna paint them like that. I don't know what that is. Just a rough spot. And then we'll do a couple coats of white paint. And then I guess I could decide if I'm gonna decorate them. And then I can show you at the end, but it is gonna take, you know, like I said, several coats on each surface. So let me get these painted and then I'll come back and show you. All right, I finished all the clay with the Dollar Tree clay and I want to show you where we're at. So, first off, well, it's very fragile. I cut out a cat and it broke while it was drying. And I brought down one of the circles that I made to show you and dropped it. So, it, I will say that the Dollar Tree stuff is very fragile. Now, that being said... 
It's adorable. I just did a tester of this. I painted it with white acrylic paint and then I decorated it with paint pens. And then I sealed this with Mod Podge, which is fine, but I think I would prefer to seal it with spray paint. So I bought some spray paint. I have some other clay I'm gonna try and hope it's not quite as delicate as this. So I have that. Um, what I did on this is this paint here is permanent ink. It's a permanent paint pen and this is an oil-based paint pen. And they both worked out perfectly well. So I put it on the raw clay and then I put the Mod Podge over it. This is what color it dries and that's with one coat of Mod Podge. I use the Mod Podge dishwasher. It is very like, I mean, it's, it's very fragile. I'm undone. Now I did this one, oh, sorry. I did this one with some water-based like um, flare pens. And as soon as I went over it with the Mod Podge, it did its, th it wiped away. But I mean, I, this has been sealed in multiple times. It's just very, very delicate. Um, so we have this one that survived. Uh, so I would say it's definitely fun to work with. This is the, it holds its shape well. It's easy to sand. And maybe I need to make it a little thicker if I choose to work with it anymore. But next up, I'm gonna try a brand called DAS, D-A-S. And we're gonna do kind of the same thing and see how that works out. But I wanted to give this a try and I wanted to bring you along. So I hope you enjoyed that little experiment and a little DIY with some of the Dollar Tree air dry clay. All right guys, have a good one, bye.